comment in the, <laughs> uh, comment below so it doesn't happen to you or else. Bad luck for shinies. Hey guys, Cross here. So I know I'm super, super late to the reaction and everything, but I've been busy. Let's just get right into it. Hope you guys have all been well and are excited for this new installation of Pokemon. Let's do it. I'm trying so hard not to do commentary for all this. I'm, so, I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Blaze, that's new. Go where I want. I'll go where I want. Whooper. So, super short trailer, had a lot in it, had a decent amount in it. Alright, so right away we've got Slowbro, Slowpoke, Slowking, indefinitely confirmed. A treasure hunt, we've got Cubfant, the steel elephant back in the background. Cloth, <laughs> Cloth, what an adorable, dumb looking Pokemon. He's so excited. <clears throat> then we've got this guy, super excited for him, believe he's a pseudo legendary. He is an evolution, an ex uh, evolution exclusive, rather, to Scarlet. So at some point in the game, we find his base stage somewhere. More than likely, it's going to be like a cub food type thing, where if we get one in the game, it's considered a legendary, but it'll evolve under certain conditions. Um, I'm willing to bet it's an item, like some kind of item we have to collect and, you know, eventually get it to evolve. This one looks like it's about to stab us right in the back. It looks bad ass. So the other one was a psychic and fire type, whereas this one is a ghost and fire type. They both look incredible. They both hype me up so much for the Mega Man NT Warrior collections, um, collection that's gonna be coming out soon. 
but they both look awesome. Alright, so it seems like we have ourselves a little bit of a mini-map kind of situation. Allegedly, there is supposed to be a little mini-map on the screen as your character moves around, but this looks like you can highlight points of interest, you know, um, I believe there was something about fast travel after you get to a certain part of the game, but I guess we'll see. Here we have the three different routes of the game, so if you want to fight off the school children, Team Star, which was, um, they're interesting. They're, they remind me a lot of the uh, rivals from, or not rivals, the, uh, the Team Rocket from Sword and Shield. You know, albeit pretty useless, um, had an awesome mascot, you know, Zigzagoon, Galarian Zigzagoon. Then we've got the Pokemon League, and then we've got, I believe it's the Valley of Legends, which is where you're going to fight, like, most of your heavy-duty uh, wild mons. Face off against rebellious students, the bullies, the bicycle gang bullies of the school. Their designs are so lackluster, it hurts. Like, I get it, they're supposed to be school kids. But, I don't know, like, Team Rocket's outfit was so iconic, and this kind of feels like a, I don't know, tossed around idea. I I'm not liking it so far, personally, but, you know, to each their own. Some kid has jumped our fence, infiltrated our gang. So right here, it's kind of demonstrating the auto battle feature. This can also happen with wild Pokemon. I can't wait to see people get really, really pissed off when they have Pokemon sent out for auto fights and they accidentally kill a shiny Pokemon. It's going to happen. It'll probably happen to me, but it's going to happen. It might happen to you too. Comment, in <laughs> uh, comment below so it doesn't happen to you or else. Bad luck for shinies. Going on. Ah, uh, yes. Mess me up, Mela. I mean, her character design is completely overwhelming. She's like that high school senior who purposely stayed back a few years, or back a few times, and she is probably in her, like, early 20s, would just beat the crap out of kids for no reason. Her boots are just fierce. But they also remind me of Blaziken, uh, Me uh Mega Blaziken. And I know there's no Megas confirmed in this game. Allegedly. So, we'll find out. But her outfit is... It's incredible, honestly. And for her crew to be so lackluster, it's almost like an afterthought. Hopefully she has admins that have a little bit of a personality to them. Torkoal! So first and foremost, love Torkoal, one of my favorite fire type Pokemon. Love, love, love him. Secondly, the Guy Fieri Mobile. This little thing, the engine, is actually a Pokemon. Confirmed steel type, supposedly a poison type also. Why it's driving the Fieri Mobile, or powering the Fieri Mobile, is beyond me. But also, the light up disco ball type things look a lot like one of the Ultra Beasts, uh, Blaze. Blaze Fion? Spacing on the name. The Ultra Worm Beasts, uh, the, I always forget the names. I'm not loving how the textures look in the background, but this was like kind of a still that I just like stopped on my own. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the background's a little lackluster, I guess, but. Fococo. But yeah, Ultra Beast, maybe confirmed, maybe not confirmed, maybe part of a DLC. Why not Zoidberg? <laughs> Speaking of crabs. Then we have this kid who definitely got held back a couple years. Probably really, really nice. Dumb as a brick. Your basic himbo. Really, really good at cooking. He wants to... He wants to go to the lairs of titans and nab their mystical herbs. Erba Mystica. That's, uh, that's mystical herbs, in case you couldn't realize. I'm hoping this is a key item or something that we need to collect. Otherwise, he's just really into cooking and he needs those signature spices. Maybe to appease the Guy Fieri Mobile gods. Maybe. That thing is colossal. So, Alpha Pokemon definitely confirmed. Throughout the entire campaign, there is allegedly a set number of Titan Pokemon that you can interact with until you hit post-game. During post-game, you can find them much like the Alphas in Legends Arceus. This is an unconfirmed source, but 
you know, everything is, is speculation until the game comes out, right? So, it it's so dumb. I love it. It just jumps down and it's just like, you done, you done messed, messed up, up A.A. Ron. Loff is the Loff. <laughs> it has no business being so big. I like his little mustache. <laughs> then, of course, we've got the Victory Road. So, Gita, our probable champion. Legs go all the way up Gita. She looks like she could be a descendant of uh, the champion Caitlyn from... Was it Sword and Shield? Was it Black and White? It was probably Black and White that I'm thinking of. So there's a female champion who has just like this crazy hair to her. But she looks like a cross between her and Ingo and uh, Engo from um, Black and White, but also Legends Arceus. Um, Ingo was teleported to the past for uh, Legends Arceus. But like, between the outfit, the straight pants, the shoes, the shoes are like a dead giveaway, but also like, look at the way her hand is like, postured. Like, no one walks with their hands like straight like that, you know, or stands like that with their hands pointed like that. That's, uh, she might be military. But yeah, the legs go all the way up Gita. Then of course we have our rival who's not our rival. She's more of our mentor. Our rival is, again, our rival is Icy Hot. A uh, little girl with the Eevee, but she has the two-toned hair color. The, uh, the red and blue hair color. I'm wondering if she's gonna get like a special Terralize with her Eevee, like, you know, dual colored gemstone Eevee, which would be nuts. But it would be fitting with the, you know, color scheme, who knows. So here we have a gym challenge, much like the trials from Sun and Moon, but then there's also gym battles. So it actually, it's, it's probably closer to uh, Sword and Shield where you had to like do certain things to progress in the gyms. So like rounding up all the Wooloos in the first gym, you know, probably have to do that and counter all the sun floors. This guy, Edgelord, with the thorns and the, the, the whip. Could you look any happier while you're holding that whip there, bud? He's got the anxiety, baby. That's not a grass type. It is now. <laughs> Go where I want. I will. I will take my legendary right from the beginning of the game and I will go wherever the F I want. I'm gonna fly or surf or motorbike my way over to the Valley of Titans where I can fight the giant crab and incite the crab rave. Here we just have a bunch of Pokemon that are indefinitely in the game. Then there's these two. Mega Man and Zero, or Mega Man and Proto Man, depending on how you feel. I'm gonna say Mega Man and Zero, because I love Zero as a character. But, this one looks so badass. They're so, so sleek looking. He's a ghost and fire type, and I love him. And then we have this guy. Armored Mega Titan Mega Man. With shoulders for days. Shoulders, his shoulder armor, his pauldrons, combine and turn into a giant cannon. Allegedly his pauldrons, the shoulder pieces, are the source of his psychic ability. Allegedly. Because nothing is confirmed until the game comes out. <sighs> they look so good. Alright, so there we have it. That was the whole trailer. Um, it was a lot. It was short. Got a bunch of confirmed Pokemon for the decks. I mean, the game's looking good. I'm super excited to play it. Oh, what'd you guys think in the comments below? Yeah, I mean, there might be Ultra Worm Beasts in the uh, future, if not the, uh, you know, the actual Pokedex for it, uh, for the actual game, rather, instead of just waiting for the DLC, because there will be DLC for this game. Um, it worked really well for Sword and Shield, so it's probably gonna happen for this too. Anyway. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let's rap about Pokemon. Not do the Pokemon rap, because we could be here all day. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's speculate. Not do the Pokemon rap, because we could be here all day.